Right, so hey guys, what's going on? My name is Alex and welcome back to Ask Me. This is a series I did over like a year ago. We haven't done this series in like a whole entire year and it's pretty much a series where I take your guys' questions off Twitter when you tweet me with the hashtag AskMars and yeah, let's get straight into this Q&A. So, just to start out, I want to preface by saying a lot of you new people probably haven't seen videos like this. A lot of the new people on the channel who have kindly subscribed and got us over 100,000 subscribers, you probably have only seen vlogs from me and videos about the setup and videos about technology. But I'm, I'm a YouTuber and I do like loads of videos like different styles and I used to do a lot of videos like this, Q&As and static camera stuff. And I want to bring it back because I really enjoy it and you guys used to enjoy it. And um, we used to have this this intro, right? We used to have this intro that I used to put on the start of all of my videos. So I think just for the sake of it, let's just roll the intro. <laughs> Right, so hey guys, what's going on? My name is Alex and welcome back to Ask Me. This is a series where I take your guys' questions off Twitter when you use the hashtag AskMars and we have a little bit of a Q&A session and a little bit of a chit chat, so let's get straight to it. Now guys, if you want me to carry on doing this series, a like rating would be much appreciated. It'd let me know that you want me to bring back this series and if you don't, drop a dislike, that's absolutely cool and then I just, I, I won't do it. It's, just, it's as simple as that. Georgina asks, how was Spain? Yes, Spain was... Awesome. Spain was awesome. Spain was hot. Spain was long. I was in Spain for around a month and I wanted to come back. A lot of you have probably seen a bit of inactivity on my YouTube channel. I probably made like three videos in the last month, which is just ridiculous. I know. Uh, I'm back in the UK now though, so I'm going to be jumping back on the YouTube bandwagon, grinding uh, some uh, some awesome videos for you guys. I want to let you guys know as well. Uh, check this out. You see this? Big, big LG monitor thing, this ultra-wide monitor, well there's another one down there, I've got two of them, LG, LG sent me them out for surpassing 100,000 subscribers, so we're going to be getting some major upgrades to the setup, so stay tuned for some videos uh, about that and installing the new monitors and stuff. Ella says, are you going to insomnia? I would love to meet you. Great. Yes, Ella, I will be going to Insomnia. Insomnia? Yes, Ella, I will be going to Insomnia I-55 this year. It is on the 28th to the 31st of this month. So if you guys want to get tickets, I'll drop links in the description. The reason I haven't advertised it as much as I did last year, you know when I go to these events, I'm like, guys, guys, come meet me, come and meet me. I'm going to these events. The reason I go to these events is for you guys to meet me. Now, Insomnia works a little bit different. I don't really like how Insomnia works. Like, the event's cool, but they take it too seriously. So let me explain. The previous Insomnia I-54, which happened about three months ago, I got invited there as a special guest. And with that, you get like access to the VIP room where all the other YouTubers hang out. You may know some names like Syndicate and uh, a load of other YouTubers are in there. And there's all organised meet and greets. Now, I don't like to do that. What I want to do is go around the event and meet you guys. Um, just come, come over to me and say hello and we'll have some photos. I don't want to have an organised meet and greet. And that's what happened last time I went, got invited as a guest. Uh, and everything just went a little bit a little bit mental. And, you know, I was, I was in the VIP room and I had to organise everyone to come and meet me at a specific time. Well, what I'd rather do is walk around the event and... Um, uh, and you know, and you know, just just you guys come up to me and say hello, and we'll have some photos, and we can chat about setups and chat about whatever you guys want to chat about. We can have a talk, we can do signatures, and everything you guys want to do. But last time, you know, they wanted to do like these organised meet and greets, and that's not what I'm about. I just want to chill out. So yeah, obviously, I know there's a lot of you guys now that are going to the event. Uh, and I didn't want to make it a massive advertisement that I was going, but yeah, I'm going to the event. Feel free to come meet me, come say hello, come have a photo. I'd love to meet you guys and see you guys in person. I'll drop. Links in the description where you guys can buy the tickets for Insomnia uh, I-55. It's coming up very shortly, so get your tickets. I'm there all three or four days. I don't know how many days it is, but I'm there the whole event. What would you do if a subscriber turned up at your doorstep? No, obviously, I'm only joking. I wouldn't shoot his head off or shoot any part of his body. I would probably... 
invite him in, or her, and offer them a drink, offer them to come and look at the setup, and then I'd probably tell them to leave. Can you order me a cheeky Nandoes? Well, sir, yeah, I'll order you a cheeky Nandoes, but where the fuck do you get a Nandoes from? It's Nandoes, you knob. I'm joking, Carl. I'm joking. I'm just as bad a speller as you. Don't worry, I can't spell to save my life. For an upcoming YouTuber like myself, what tips would you give to grow? Well, there's a few main tips that I would give to anyone who asks me for tips on how to grow the YouTube channel. Number one is be consistent. What you need to do is be uploading videos. Uh, I would say, you know, when you're a smaller YouTuber, put a schedule together. Tell your audience that you're going to be uploading. Fridays and Sundays or Mondays and Wednesdays or Mondays and Fridays or whatever you want uh, Or when you want to upload put a schedule together so people know when to come and check your channel to maximize your views Now throughout my time doing YouTube. Uh, I haven't like had shout outs of, of you know any other big youtuber I've you know, I'm, I'm a self-made youtuber. I've done all of this myself, you know, no shout outs I don't know any other big youtubers that have helped me with this. It's just I don't know, I've had a few viral videos and I don't know how they've gone viral. And the last tip, obviously, be interesting, be different. People don't want to see mainstream stuff on YouTube. I am kind of a mainstream person off camera. I am I would talk like this off camera, I'm just fairly normal. But on camera, I'm a bit of a mentalist. And people, I don't know, like that, I don't know. <laughs> how do you deal with hate? And does it get to you? No, 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 no! Haters are my motivators. Okay, so let me explain. On the most part, now I'm not talking, you know, through everything, but on the most part, haters, uh, the, the, the term hater means to hate on someone because they have reached success. Now I got told this by, I think a seven year old about seven days ago, and I was like, wow, that actually makes sense. Because if you think about it, a lot of people hate Justin Bieber, right? They wouldn't hate him if he wasn't famous. A lot of people hate somebody, right? They wouldn't hate them if they weren't famous. Uh, people hate me, but people wouldn't hate me if, you know, I didn't have a following on YouTube. It's just, it's just how it works. It's just, that's just the logistics of it. And the best thing about it as well is that if you have haters, they come onto your videos and the haters are the people that interact on the video the most because, you know, if you like a YouTuber, you go onto the video, maybe leave a like rating and then go off the video and go and watch your other subscriptions. But if you're a hater, you make it your mission to click on the video, click dislike, go in the comment section and type, you're a faggot Harry. And then, you know, what you've done there is you've, you've, you've interacted with the video twice, three times because you've clicked on it, they've put something in the comment section and they've used the like or dislike bar. That is interacting with the YouTube video and interactions on YouTube videos boost them up in the YouTube rankings so they are more likely to appear at the top of search results or on the front page. So haters are awesome. I would like to think that this uh, whole YouTube thing wouldn't be the same without haters. So keep on hating. Thank you. No, but in all seriousness, I don't really like haters. I don't, I don't see the point. If you don't like someone, don't watch them. Unsubscribe from them. I just think it's rather sad, like, what I think to get through hate is, you know, there's someone sat there at home, or wherever they are, and they've spent valuable lifetime to go on your video and to put a comment, a hateful comment, like, how sad can you be? How sad can you be just to go on someone's video and dislike it? You've got to, you've got to be so sad, like, so, so sad, I'm sorry, but do, do you understand? You're like, it's just, I don't understand, like, just imagine their life. <laughs> Weirdest experience with a girl. Well, I had one the other day actually. It was really, really weird. Uh, I don't know what was happening, but I was just on the computer browsing the internet. I think I was just on YouTube. And um, the, the, the speaker started making weird noises and then all the screens went off. Um, and I just I just went and restarted the computer and it started to work again and, and you know, the noise went, but I don't know what happened. Probably the weird expe weirdest experience I've had. How do I get a hairstyle like you? You don't. You don't want a hairstyle like me. Who wants this hairstyle? It's horrible. But to answer your question, I use Got To Be. It's a German company. That's hairspray, and I haven't used it in ages. I think it's, yeah, it's hardly any left. It's like pretty much dead. And this is like the actual product that I put in my hair. It's this little tub, and it's, yeah, it's this little tub thing. 
So guys, I really do hope you enjoyed this episode of Ask Me. As always, if you want to ask a question, get yourself over on Twitter, throw me a follow, uh, and ask me the question with the hashtag AskMars, and you might get featured in the next episode. We've got some awesome videos coming up, guys, and I'm really looking forward to uh, growing the YouTube channel and making some making some awesome videos. Uh, I'm going to be upgrading the vlogging setup again. I know I did a video three weeks ago saying that I'd upgraded the vlogging setup, and I was actually using this camera. This camera, the Sony A5000, uh, but I didn't, I didn't like it. I just didn't think it was good enough. That camera that I bought came with a lens, and that lens I'm currently using on my Sony A7S right now to record this video. And as I've mentioned, it's a, it's an autofocus lens. If I put my hand there, it autofocuses and it works really well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a microphone for the top of the A7S, and I'm going to get a uh, what's it called? one of those gorilla pod things so I can go like that with it and have it far away from me and I'm gonna vlog like that and hopefully it will be awesome now I've reached out to Rode and I'm hoping they're gonna send me out a microphone uh, to do these videos with uh, so I can do all the vlogs and stuff so that should be absolutely awesome we've got these two monitors to uh, install let me show you guys how big they are so th they sent me two of them this is uh, this is how big they are this is this is yeah generally how big they are like if I put one if I put it on the desk I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, it's it's huge compared to the three monitors. So what I'm going to do is have uh, that as the setup, and hopefully it's going to be absolutely awesome. So guys, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, a like rating would be much appreciated. Also, let me know in the comment section if you want me to carry on doing this Ask Mars or Ask Me series, um, and I will. And if you don't, then then also let me know. But my name is Alex. You guys have been awesome, and I will see you in my next video. Adios.